Welcome back for the reveal of our very eagerly anticipated small block Chevy Supercharger. There's no doubt the small block Chev has been one of the most popular and enduring V8 engine platforms. The original Gen 1 small block Chev was first released by General Motors in 1955, the same year that Harrop was founded, so both sharing some incredible history over the last 70 years. The original Gen 1 engine was the standard V8 engine from General Motors for many new vehicle models all the way through to 1992. Available in displacements from 263 cubic inch all the way up to 400 cubic inch or 6.6 .6 litres. Along with our popular big block Chev supercharger, we're now excited to support the small block Chev market with the same industry leading supercharger technology and efficiency. The engine configuration our supercharger system supports is the traditional 9.025 inch deck height with the Gen 1 style cylinder heads that have the 23 degree valve angle and standard intake port orientation. The supercharger is our TVS 2650 Mark II, featuring Eaton's OEM proven TVS technology. And like we shared recently, we also offer a factory CNC race ported option for those customers that demand higher performance levels. As part of our modular design philosophy, the front inlet or snouts, we've got five different options available to support inlet packaging and performance goals. Our inlet manifold assembly features a cast lower with a billet upper that houses our high density, dual pass, water to air intercooler brick. The fittings for the intercooler are 19 mm or three quarter inch barbs, or we have the option for dash 12 AN fittings. Fuel rails are supplied and accept an EV14 style compact injector. At the back, we include both a GM map and inlet air temp sensors with provision for an MSD cam sync sensor. Up the front, the supercharger drive system is a 10 rib design with our heavy duty Harrop tensioner and an ATI balancer. And we use an Innovators West crank trigger. We offer a broad range of pulley ratios with a 205 millimeter or 245 lower crank pulley. And the top supercharger drive pulley, we've got four options from 70 millimeters with five millimeter increments up to 85 millimeters. So now let's look at the all important performance testing, which has been impressive. Firstly, over on the West Coast, our performance partner and Holly EFI specialist, Jeff Johnson, was excited to work with Brody at Advanced Race Fabrication on Mark's beautiful Holden EK Ute that runs a 434 cubic inch small block Chev combo with a dart block, AFR 245 heads and a comp solid roller cam by Chev Power in WA that previously made around 570 horsepower on the Pro Hub naturally aspirated. Fit it up with a TVS 2650 supercharger and the 110 integrated cable throttle, it's running a 205 lower and 80 millimeter upper for a 2.56 pulley ratio. The boys started with 98 RON pump fuel and now boosted to 15 PSI peak, it put down 952 horsepower and switching over to E85 with a tune up, the power jumped to 1,040 horsepower on the mainline pro hub. Absolutely a great result for all involved, with excitement now turning to getting the EK back to the track to run some PBs. Meanwhile, here in Victoria, our customer Spiro, who has a very nice HQ Holden, has this 416 cubic inch small block Chev in front of me. It's been done by Alex and Chris at Motor One. It's a dart block with AFR 210 heads and a custom solid roller cam by Morris at Crow Cams. With the top end freshened up for boost and fitted with our bolt-on supercharger, we went to the Superflow engine dyno at Dandy Engines for performance testing. And supported by Nads from FuelTech, who as always does a great job looking after the engine management. The combo is also running the integrated 110 throttle that we offer in both drive-by-wire or cable actuation and the 205 lower crank pulley. We started with the 85 mm supercharger pulley on E85 pump fuel. Peak boost we saw 15.5 PSI and power was 1,088 horsepower at 7,700 RPM 
with 885 foot-pounds of torque at 4700 RPM. Moving down an increment on the supercharger pulley to 80 millimeters, boost increased to 17.5 psi, a jump of 2 psi, and peak power was 1120 horsepower at 7800 RPM with 928 foot-pounds of torque at 4700 RPM. Impressed with the progress, we went to the next increment on the top pulley to 75 millimeters, which saw a consistent jump of two PSI to peak 19 and a half PSI. And then we dropped it to a 70 mil top pulley with boost going to 21 PSI and power jumping to a peak number of 1216 horsepower at 7,500 RPM and 1,017 foot pounds at 4,800 RPM. There's no doubt we're all excited by the performance results. Spiro's pumped to get this engine back into the HQ, which is gonna be phenomenal. You can learn more about our small block Chevy supercharger on our Australian and US websites or our dealers globally. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.